unboxing uh, my 48 volt 10 kilowatt motor here today. So I've uh, got this all from Golden Motor and uh, got a controller basically. So uh, this here is the controller. Looks like that's a bridge connector. And I've got some, a lot of spare part, looks like for making some, maybe some various connectors for my, my end of it. Cruise control, throttle, and reverse. So I don't know which one's which here, but those two don't go together, which is why you need these, I'm guessing. So I need to clip off some ends here and then make my own ends that they fit these so throttle e-lock ignition lock cruise and uh, I don't know what that is but I'm assuming that goes into the motor uh, so this is the motor here that I got all right so that just basically is the I'm going to put this down here. That's just some information for shipping. So this is the motor, so I can see what comes with it. This is the liquid cooled version. So it looks like I've got a couple of uh, hoses. I'm not too sure how those... Uh, oh yeah, they do look like compression fittings. So I'll get that off first and I'll run a second when I take a look at it. And this is fairly hefty. Uh, I don't know, 30. Uh. Oh, that's a strong magnet. Okay. So there's a groove for a shaft lock, and this is the liquid cooling. And uh, oh, yeah, there in the front, it looks like that's where I would put the. Uh, the bolts for a bolt-on plate of some sort. I just gotta figure out what bolt that is. So definitely comes with the wiring. These are the liquid cooling. A motor and I was wondering about one thing but I see them here so these are the control cables so this marries up to these huh, so you can actually control this with two controllers maybe I don't know why there's two or maybe there's one that goes to a second motor so you can run two with one controller oh, that's possible I don't know though for sure 100% certain and there's two sets of of wires and uh, additionally I was given one set and oh there's the uh, plug for the shaft plug so if I want I can put that in there cool so that's what you get with the liquid cool liquid set so this motor weighs quite a bit Ugh. And I'd say that's about, what is that, six inches? So one, two, three, it's about six inches across. And it's a little bit shorter with the back end. So with, if you got it without the liquid cooling, this unit wouldn't be on, and then these bolts would be in a little bit tighter. They'd be in on, with like covering a, a cap of some sort. So the way that they have this set up, <laughs> is that there's liquid running around in here and it's a press fit against the um, the coil wrapping i think it's called the stator inside the motor uh, so when this is turning and generating heat the water right here is directly against it and uh, oh, you know what they have a little plastic coating on there so i'll leave that on until i get it going uh, yeah, so that's looking pretty good. 
looks like it's uh, fairly well fairly well made. There's four Allen key bolts on the front. And I've got a good shaft here to work with. Wow, that's really strong. Okay. So these two, basically, to fill the liquid cavity, uh, those get push fitted in there, I think. That's it. And then I just need a water pump to go around. Isn't that interesting? That's what those are. Those are push fits. Huh. Interesting. So I just need to find a connection to put that on. And is there oh, some writing on there? Eight by five millimeter. So it must be eight on the outside and five inside diameter. So I need a five millimeter nozzle connector on a pump system. So I'm going to put this through some kind of water reservoir. I haven't figured out yet what it is. All right, so just uh, to close off this unpacking video, uh, this is the new motor and it is replacing the old motor. So that's the old motor that it's replacing. So in, just in terms of size, uh, that's a 25 horsepower. That's 10 kilowatt. Um, and I think, was it 3,001 horsepower is 750 watts? So that's 10 kilowatts or 10,000 watts. So it's, a, it's a about eight or 10, maybe eight horsepower, but it's, uh, 80 or 90 percent efficient and this engine's about 20 percent efficient so I'm only going to get about eight horsepower out of this motor maybe max but that's at maximum rpm and uh, I'm going to get uh, eight horsepower out of that thing with a lot less and I have no fuel no gas tank uh, no anything I just need some battery power so that's what uh, I'm replacing not to mention that's I forget 550 pounds plus the weight of all the fuel and I've just got some I mean that does weigh maybe a couple pounds I think this one here is 18 kilograms so it's about uh, 40 pounds so it's not bad at all uh, yeah so that's my unboxing and uh, I will get to the installation and figuring out how to make some brackets and things for it now that I have it out uh, so I can get this mounted in the boat.